for the Diamond Delight Edibles. My name is Liz, if this is the first time you're stopping by, and for the rest of you guys, as always, welcome back, and thank you so much for joining. The channel keeps growing and growing, and that's all thanks to you. You guys are awesome. So, I did uh, peanut butter cookies the other day, so I couldn't do peanut butter without doing chocolate chip. So, I'm gonna, today we're gonna do can of butter chocolate chip cookies. And uh, just a quick couple things. Um, in the recipe, I've just kind of covered can of butter in for the recipe. But if you have a can of sugar or flour, you can absolutely use this in the recipe. Um, so, for example, there's two cups of flour. If you want to use, you can absolutely put substitute a quarter cup of flour for a uh, can of flour for that. Same thing with the sugar. You can always use any combination as long as you have the full amount of the finished product. So. If it's two cups of flour, as long as you end up with two cups of flour at the end, doesn't matter how if how much you put there together. It's all dependent on how strong you want to make your um, your cookies or any other baking products. All right, so let's jump right into those ingredients and let's get started. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to preheat your oven to 375 degrees. So the ingredients that we're going to need are is two cups of all-purpose flour one room temperature egg, one teaspoon of baking soda, and a half a teaspoon of salt. Now, if you use salted butter, I would go with a quarter teaspoon of salt. If you use the unsalted butter, then you go with a half a teaspoon. You're gonna need a half a cup of white sugar, a half a cup of packed uh, golden sugar or brown sugar, you can use either, a half a cup of so altogether, you're going to need three quarters of a cup of butter. How you want to split that butter up is totally up to you. So I'm doing a half a cup of regular butter to a quarter cup of can of butter. One teaspoon of vanilla. And um, you can use up to two cups of chocolate chips. I'm using one cup. I don't like overly um, chocolate chippy cookies. Um, so I'm just going with one cup, but you can definitely go up to two cups. However chocolatey chippy you like your cookies. And uh, for equipment, really simple. Um, parch line cookie sheet, or if you've got one of these cookie baking sheets, these things are awesome. Um, a mixing bowl, hand or stand mixer, and one of these one inch scoops uh, are great for cookies, or you can just use um, teaspoons, yeah. So let's just get started. I'm just gonna grab, oh, you're gonna need a spatula. So let me grab a spatula and we'll just get jump right in and get started. So the very first thing we're gonna do is we need to cream our um, butter and our sugar together. So we're gonna plop in our butter, and we're gonna plop in our sugar. Plop. Oops. And we're gonna first start cream those cream those together first. Okay, so I've got my butter and my sugars creamed together. And the reason why you do that first is if you don't, um, your butter, when you add in your flour, it will, um, the butter will all kind of clump up and it will cause your cookies to cook unevenly because you're gonna have little lumps of butter. And that's why it's always, you always wanna cream your sugar and your butters first. Next thing we're gonna add in our egg and our vanilla. And you just want to do a quick scrape down your edges there, get everything in. And then now we'll do our, we do our dry ingredients. So I'm going to put in our baking soda and our salt. And I'm just going to fold this in before I blend it so the flour doesn't go everywhere. Oops. Scrape down your edges. Make sure to also get right down to the bottom of the bowl because flour can hide down there as well. And now everything's blended in and this is what your dough should be looking like. So still you can move it around with your spoon, shouldn't be overly thick and clumpy. And now we just fold in our uh, chocolate chips. So I've got my chocolate chips all folded in. We're ready to put these, um, scoop these out and put them on the tray and bake them up. So I said I use uh, the one inch scoop 
these things are great because they make perfect size cookies. So I just there, smack them on. Now with these guys, you don't flatten them down. You just leave the ball, and then as they bake, they just melt out. So you want to make sure to leave room in between. Otherwise, you're going to end up with one big cookie. Get these all scooped out onto the tray, and we're going to bake these for 8 to 10 minutes on the middle rack. Always do your cookies on the middle rack. 8 to 10 minutes until lightly golden brown. Okay, so these are going to go into the oven, like I said, middle rack, 8 to 10 minutes until lightly golden brown. All right, so the cookies are done. Let's take them out. Oof, look at these puppies. So you're just going to put them on a cooling rack. Let them cool for about a half an hour before you sink your teeth into them. And I'll just come back to do my goodbyes. So check these out. Ah, nice color. Check out the box. Nice, perfect, even color. Oh, they taste amazing. So I really hope you enjoyed a little uh, chocolate chip demonstration here. If you have any questions at all or if you've done the recipe, do the recipe. I'd love to hear from you. And I think that's all I've got for you today. Hope you stop by. Hope you subscribe. Many, many more recipes to come in the future. Thanks again for watching. You have an awesome rest of your day.